Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and this video is going to be the third video of iOS interview series. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, the next question that your interviewer might ask you could be what are high order functions in Swift? So the high order functions are simply functions that operate on other functions by either taking a function as an argument or returning a function. Swift's array type has basically four methods which are high order functions. Sorted, map, filter and reduce. So let's answer this one by one. So guys, let's start with sorted function. And if we call sorted on an array, it will return a new array that's sorted in ascending order. In order for this method to work, the elements in the array need to conform to the comparable protocol. So what does it mean is that if we try to write sorted against an array, then it will convert that array into a ascending order organized array. Let's see that in our Xcode playground. So here I have written a chunk of code for you to make you understand how does it work. So I have taken this array called numbers, which is of integer type, and I have given these many elements to this array. Now I have created this new object called sorted numbers, and I simply write numbers dot sorted, and I hope the job is done. Let's see by printing both these arrays. Okay, so I have done, okay. Now you see that the first one that is a number array is something like this down below and the sorted array has been sorted in an ascending order as you can see uh, in the console down below. Now if we want to specify the order, we can make some changes to the same and we can convert it into a descending order managed array. So let's see that how we do it. You just simply need to write sorted and it will ask you to write a closure and a closure is nothing but a self-contained functionality that can be passed and used in your code. So let's write this. I'll give it these two parameters and I'll return a greater than b and it will convert this complete array in a descending order organized array. As you can see in the console down below, it has been converted in a descending order managed array. So guys, what does that mean? Uh, what is this doing in the background is the Swift infers these two parameters and doing the complete job for us. In the same manner, we can also get rid of this closure by writing something like this. I'll show you by writing sorted by and this operator. It will do the same job as we done before. It will convert the complete array in a descending order organized array. Let's see that in the console. Yes, we have the result. As you can see, this has been converted into a descending order organized array. So guys, this also works in the background. Swift infers this function. And you know, as I told you, these high order functions are operated on other functions. So these functions are working in the background for us and doing the complete job for us. So let's talk about map function now. So mapping is similar to sort in that it iterates through the array that is calling it. But instead of sorting, it changes each element of the array based on the closure passed to the method. So based on the closure, it will decide what the result is going to be. Let's see that in our Xcode playground. So I have written this chunk of code for you guys to make you understand about map function. And we are going to take the same array called numbers in this case as well. So in this case, we will try to convert all those numbers and we will convert that each one of the number as a string. Okay, so I'll write numbers as a string as a new object and I'll write numbers dot map and again a closure in which I will give a condition that is I'll return a string type. Okay, I'll return instead of integer, I'll return a string. So here I have also written re uh, return string A. So I hope it will return all the numbers as a string now. Let's see that by printing both the arrays and see, uh, we will see the difference between them. As you can see, the number array is something like this and the new array which we have created, numbers as a string are looking something like this. These all numbers have, has been converted into a string now and these are represented in the form of a string. Okay, so guys, we can also get rid of this closure again in this case by writing something like this, I'll show you. We need to write string dollar zero
All right, guys. So we have just written this string and this dollar sign and zero. What is this dollar sign and zero doing is it is iterating through this complete array called numbers and converting each one of the number into a string and representing it as a string. So that's all for now in this map function. Let's talk about filter now. So the filter method will return an array that has only elements that pass your filter specified in your closure. So we will specify a, a filter in our closure. According to that, a new array will be created. So let's see that in our Xcode playground. So guys, here I've written this uh, code for you. And in this case as well, we are going to take this same array called numbers and we will do some work on it. We will write filter numbers and we will give it a condition called a must be less than five. So what it will do, this closure is going to, uh, you know, iterate only up to those numbers which are less than five in our array called numbers. So let's see the results in our console down below. Okay, it's running. Okay, as you can see, we have all these numbers in our numbers array up to, you know, the greatest number is nine here. And in the result, you can see the uh, new array is having a number up to three only because we don't have any four uh, in this array called numbers. So the numbers up to five are these many only one, three, two, zero. So this is how filter function works. All right. Guys, in this case as well, you must be wondering how we'll get rid of this closure. So don't worry, I'll tell you in this case as well, how I'll do that. So we will just write this and dollar sign zero, which must be less than five. And this dollar zero will iterate through each one of the, uh, you know, numbers in that array and it's showing some error. No, there's no error. And what I was telling you was uh, this dollar zero is going to iterate through each one of the numbers in the array called numbers and it will see that if that number is greater than or less than five according to our condition it will show us the results which are here in the console down below so let's switch to the next topic that is reduce all right guys so this one is the last but not the least uh, so the reduce function allows you to combine all the elements in an array and return an object of any type that is it could be generics so guys, uh, if you haven't watched my video on generics, please do watch that video. I've given the link of that video in the description box down below. Let's see this in our Xcode playground. So I have written this chunk of code for you to make you understand about reduce function. And in this case as well, we are going to take the same array called numbers and we will try to convert that complete array into a single object as a string. So what we have done here is we have created this new array called single string and we have written number dot reduce and now you can see that we have given these two parameters the results and the other one is a you can write anything you want and you, as you can notice that reduce has two parameters initial result and next partial result so we need the initial result to tell us where to start and the method then operates on that result based on the logic in the closure so the logic here is to you know make the complete array into a single string so let's see what will happen when we will print both the arrays, the original one and the new one. So the original one is here and the new one is here. As you can see, the new one is a single string as an object. So guys, you must be wondering what we will do in this case to make it, uh, you know, get to, make, to get rid of this uh, complete closure. So I'll tell you in this case as well. So we'll do this and we will write dollar again to iterate we need to write dollar zero so i'll write dollar zero and what we need to do is to add this string each one of okay and dollar one where is dollar this is here and i'll do this so okay so it's showing some error no, there is no error and we can see the results in the console down below. We again got the same result as desired. So guys, that's all for now. If you have any doubt in this topic, please make sure that you write it in the comment section down below and I will surely reply to that. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please do subscribe my channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Jai Hind.